This video tutorial covers Chapter 7 in GIS Tutorial for Marketing to an International Market Assessment for Personal Management Development. This chapter covers the use of uh, business GIS tools uh, for international market assessment and global marketing. So the scenario here is that personal management development is a company which provides training materials in a multimedia environment for professional women in technical fields, chemistry, engineering, biology, etc., software design, uh, who are moving into managerial positions for the first time. The firm has been successful in the United States and wants to build on that by targeting at some countries overseas which match the demographic and lifestyle characteristics that it thinks are important for development. In this chapter, you will learn how to perform international market assessment for a company that wants to move into global markets with ArcGIS. You'll do that by distributing distributions of some of the variables that you want to consider in terms of that expansion effort. To use those variables to screen the countries to identify those which have the best fit. You'll then look for cultural and lifestyle values based on Hofstede's indices uh, to match those uh, and use those two criteria to recommend two countries for this country for this company to expand into and finally design a map uh, to communicate that information to the company itself. So in task one uh, of this chapter, you'll explore the data in the, the data set for the, for the project by creating and looking at a number of thematic maps on various variables of, of socioeconomic data around the world. Look at the distribution of the data sets uh, and examine specifically the way these attributes vary by region and country. So, for example, this map of educational attainment by country uh, lets you evaluate where the higher levels of educational attainment are in, in countries around the world. And as you can see, there are a number of other variables that you'll use uh, to make similar assessments. In task two, you will use some of those same variables to screen countries based on their demographic characteristics. You'll calculate averages for the three attributes that are most important to this company. You'll then select those countries that are above average on the values for all three of those and display those on a map. Uh, so this is the way that map will look after you've selected and identified those countries. Then in step three, you will add to the demographic screening, screening based on Hofstede's uh, cultural indices. Uh, you'll look at the, the way the, those classifications vary across country. You'll design maps that show what countries in the world have different values for the Hofstede index, ind indexes. Uh, and you will also calculate summary statistics uh, for countries with different values uh, for three of those characteristics. Uh, here's what a map will look like that displays the difference between feminine and masculine oriented countries around the world. Uh, and at the bottom of the screen, the table illustrates the differences and socioeconomic characteristics of countries that fall into those two categories. In step four of the chapter, you'll perform cultural and demographic screening both so that you will identify the countries that you've already selected as meeting the demographic characteristics of countries that you'd like to serve. And now you'll add those to the cultural factors that show up in Hofstede uh, to come up with a set of two specific countries. You will identify then in a layout view those countries that you've selected which match both of those screening criteria and you will develop a map which illustrates where those countries are and show uh, a graph form why you selected the two countries that you have. This is a basic international market assessment function. This exercise can be expanded as you move into other areas by other sources of demographic and socioeconomic data. Most specifically the most common ones are the World Bank, CIA World Factbook and then a, a real treasure trove in nationmaster.com. Uh, you can also, uh, instead of Hofstede's as indices, uh, you can use indexes of economic freedom, political freedom, or market potential from several other sources and incorporate this into your analysis as well. So this chapter uses these tools to illustrate the utility of GIS for international market assessment and some of the potential development that you can move from there. And that concludes this video lesson.